Broadcasting live from SHRM 2022 at the New Orleans Convention Center, it's time for Workplace MVP, brought to you by R3 Continuum, a global leader in helping workplaces thrive during disruptive times. Now, here's your host. Hey, everyone, your host, Jamie Gassman, and I am coming to you from the SHRM 2022 Exhibit Hall in our show sponsor's booth, R3 Continuum. And joining me is Brad Harper from Bambi.com. Welcome to the show, Brad. Hey, Jamie. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you. I'm glad you stopped by. So tell me a little bit about your background. I know you're not an HR leader, but you do support a bunch of them. So share me a little bit about how you got into that industry and just kind of your career journey to this point. Yeah, sure. So I've been in human resources for about 14 years, uh, and I've recently joined on with a company named Bambi. Uh, They are uh, a company headquartered out of downtown Los Angeles. Uh, and what they do is, is they support small businesses throughout the United States. Um, we saw a need for small businesses in the U.S. that can't afford a dedicated HR manager. You know, uh, on average, a dedicated HR manager internal, you know, eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year. Uh, and what we realized was, was you know, for those small businesses that had less than a hundred employees, a lot of times those businesses. Uh, don't have a dedicated HR point person, but they still need to follow state and federal laws. Uh, they still need to provide a support system for employees. Um, and so what we've done is, is we have designed a product. Uh, Bambi.com is a website. It's a digital infrastructure for a lot of the HR policies, uh, supplemental trainings, a lot of the things that a uh, small business needs uh, to succeed Uh, all the tools and the resources. But in addition to that, on top of it, they get a dedicated HR manager. And that dedicated HR manager provides risk mitigation. Uh, They provide guidance on how to navigate some of the very complex issues that come up, uh, you know, when it comes to equal opportunity employment, when it comes to sexual harassment, you know, a lot of those compliance uh, areas that, you know, can be very sticky uh, points that a lot of times, uh, you know, small business owners, they don't know how to navigate and handle that with their employees. So uh, that is what Bambi provides. Uh, it's been a great uh, learning opportunity for me. And uh, I'm thrilled to be with the company. Yeah, no, I think it sounds like a great, great site and a great product because, you know, to your point, they all have to still follow the same guidelines. But not only that, but, it, you know, employees are still looking for the same things from their employer, whether they're small or they're large. So I know, talk to me a little bit about some of the areas. I know you mentioned that mental health is a really important area for you. What are some of the support areas that you cover within a mental health space? Sure. So, you know, what I've noticed recently is, you know, we're kind of coming out of COVID. It's, there's a feeling that a lot of people have this post-pandemic fatigue. And so morale continues to be like such a big conversation starter for a lot of the clients uh, that we serve at Bambi. Um, You know, there's a lot of areas where employees have fatigue. Uh, They they need to kind of be reignited from a passion standpoint, from a a standpoint of, you know, getting them back and up and going again. Uh, So what we're noticing is, is we're noticing a lot of employer uh, clients, a lot of employers feeling fatigue. Uh, Fatigue is something that comes up quite often. Um, and they're struggling with that. And we certainly do provide a lot of um, services, not only from a policy standpoint when it comes to compliance, but also from a training. Uh, our company has a database of over 700 different trainings that are cataloged. So a lot of them are very specific kind of compliance or hard skills. But we've also got a lot of soft skills, a lot of things that... Um, you know, you, you, you learn over your career over time on, you know, how to be a better communicator, how to engage. Um, so that's something that we are noticing a, a common thread with right now, kind of coming out of post pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. I've heard that in other areas too, and kind of that ongoing stress and burnout that employees are facing, still trying to balance some of the impacts from, from the COVID pandemic. So, now, I understand this is your first time at SHRM. Mm-hmm. So what are you excited about here to take away with you? You know, what is kind of one of your main motivators for coming to the show this year? Yeah, so I would say that, you know, 
One of the things that has always solidified me as an HR professional is empathy. You know, people are exhausted. People are tired. People are drained. You know, in HR and even outside of HR, it's a common thread. It's something that regardless of where I'm at, if I'm on an airplane, if I'm, you know, uh, at Starbucks standing in line waiting to grab an Americano, a constant thing that I'm discussing with strangers is people are just exhausted. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I'm looking for out of Sherm is I'm looking how to reignite the area that I've always deemed as my strength, and that is empathy. You know, I've been officing from home for the past two, two and a half years. Um, so I've been doing a lot of remote work, but we have integrated back into our downtown corporate headquarters. And I think a lot of people are feeling sluggish. Mm -hmm. I think there's burnout. I think it's real. I think it's valid. And I think unless companies can truly say that it's real, you're never going to be able to move past the problem. I'm one of those HR managers that, you know, I want to get to the root calls. I want to really identify what is the main issue, what is the problem, because, you know, in order to kind of move forward and identifying what kind of solutions are you going to create, unless you're being really honest about the problems that lie ahead of you, you will never create the correct solutions. Yeah. Um, and so that's really something I'm looking forward to. I can tell you today I attended my first session and it was around empathy and accountability. And how do you balance the two of those things? How do you do a dance? You know, oh, accountability yeah. is this like hard line measurable where you're trying to achieve results. And, you know, you got to you got to really you really, really got to get in there and deliver numbers. But empathy is this soft skill, this soft, um, soft piece that you really do need in order to balance the two of those things. And I think that a lot of companies can really learn from taking a more empathetic approach in the next six months, even to the next year on how do you attract talent? How do you retain talent? How do you keep talent? How do you promote talent? How do you promote internally? I believe that the, the companies in the United States that are going to um, use empathy as the core of everything that they do in the next 12 months are going to be the most successful companies moving forward. Yeah, that is such a powerful thought. I love that. And, and you know, it's kind of like a new normal in this workplace. You know, employees are, they're needing things a little differently than what they've, they've gotten before. So that's amazing. Great, great information. I love it. So thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you're interested in learning a little bit more, go to Bambi.com, B-A-M-B-E-E.com. And the lucky ones will get Brad Harper as their HR manager. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. That's so nice of you to say. I really appreciate it. I've really enjoyed my time with you today. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you again. Thank you for joining us on Workplace MVP. R3 Continuum is a proud sponsor of this show and is delighted to celebrate most valuable professionals who work diligently to secure safe workplaces where employees can thrive.